Here we go guys, under ninja man, this anime is crazy, I need to watch more of it uh, Put a timer on something, bam Yeah, it's been a fresh day today But I mean, this episode, episode 1 right, was insane, you know Like, it's literally it's cray cray The guy is like, I have to get, uh, <laughs> I have to climb with the walls to get, <laughs> to buy food or whatever, it's crazy um, So, he's meeting this gal, right As I said last episode, it's funny, I love his comment that it was like, it's out of fashion to be a guy these days he was like, that's boring. <laughs> yeah, come on, girl. Build more fashionable. So he's Japan's greatest guy. Yeah, it's like a... It's like, what was it, like a red uh, laser... Is there another group here or something? I, mean, I would surprise me if there's someone else in like a... There's someone else sitting on another skyscraper. You know, in some part of Tokyo or something. It's like... He's like, everyone is part of this. Okay, it's a satellite. <laughs> what? This is a satellite? Why, why would it be? Why would it be like a satellite? How do you control? Like, what? Yeah, the guy with the teddy bear, of course. The, the toy maker guy. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy with the toy maker. His little teddy bear can... His teddy bear has one of those... Uh, what's it called? Uh, like the laser pen thing. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> exactly. The guy with the teddy bear is like, yeah, this is it. <laughs> Classic strategy. Classic strategy. I like this guy's like, is I read? Maybe it's like, get you so. <laughs> it's having so weird. Oh god, that is so weird, guys. So he's just like, that's right. It's just a genjutsu. His, uh, his teddy bear is a perfect disguise for. Um, oh, it's like a gaming store or something. Yeah, you're entering. It's like a giant gargoyle. It's like, oh yeah, it's back to the American guy with the umbrella. Yeah, with the umbrella guy. It's like so weird. But Japanese, I like how he speaks this like classic Japanese English. I need to find some Japanese sushi or yeah, sushi or something. It's like yeah, it's like it's like you know Weibo, Weibo Japanese. It's like I'm playing this guy at seven, right? And the main character, Papirulika or whatever his name is, Papirulika. Uh, she speaks like that too, yeah, she's like, shushi yo, you know, the game here, yeah, this game, the Sky 7 there, yeah, so her, the cat girl, there she is, yeah, there she is in the, in the middle there, she's like a, a guardian, right, she speaks the same way, yeah, she's like, she wanna go and buy some sushi yo, <laughs> yeah, like, you see, every, everything she says is like, it's like silly, you know, like, she can't say any correct Japanese version. No, it's like sushi jo or something. Yeah, it's like or uh, tempura. Yeah, it's like it's like tempura. It's like tempura ya or something, right? Everything sounds like ridiculous. Uh, I guess the first video game character I doing that. I think about a ship in Guilty Gear. Yeah, ship in Guilty Gear. He speaks only in like food or something. Yeah, like he's like wasabi or something. Yeah, he's like he only speaks in different like japanese food languages but he can't uh, actually speak japanese he only knows the different uh, nouns right i mean the opening is kind of like eh. you see the characters yeah the opening isn't super good so anyway you kind of see the different characters and yeah you see them like you know yeah. i thought the animation was pretty badly rated episode one, but i really liked the episode one I said it was like comedy gold the whole way, right? This is so, so weird anime. But we're gonna see then how people treat episode 2 here. Uh, this week. This will be a, probably a commercial break now. I would guess so. Uh, commercial break now. Sometimes it's just like a POD, yeah, it's a commercial break. Um, so, uh, I had this thing early, right? That's why I missed it. Yeah, yeah. Very unfortunate. I, I spent in using Kata videos. I won't, I won't bore you with here. But when I got home, it had been like a, a flood or something. Um, so I was like, oh man, it's. Um, that's the first thing I saw when I got home. There was a lot of water everywhere. So I had to walk through this puddle, basically. And the, the firefighters were here to, like, uh, you know, like the, uh, take up all the excessive water or something. But apparently it's been an actual uh, a fire. Uh, apparently, and the water has melted from them, uh, of course. Uh, and they're fixing the fire. I don't know. But I never saw the actual uh, fire. Could it have been a big one, though? Honestly, uh, and I mean everyone's fine and everything. But I know at least everyone's fine. And it could have been a big one because 
fun name for this one. No, because I really like I really like see it. I smell it. Stop trying. It smells a little bit, you know. You know how it is, of course. You know, you know how it is. But uh, yeah, happened just before I got home, before I used the Kaisa and so on. Where actually it happened lower to the stone, but I didn't, I couldn't wash it because I had to talk to the, you know, the insurance and so on. So, uh, my, I probably won't make a video about it. I don't like making videos about this stuff. Just mention it here briefly. So this is the guy we see in the opening. Is he a teacher or something? Yeah, I don't know if this is a weird OD style, or this is like a weird... <laughs> As a teacher, but no, but I was like... Because he was like on the play, yeah, I was like, man, maybe he's like the teacher of the... You know, like... Or something, but no, maybe this is... Oh, this is the Tory gate sign that they have on the... So that, that candy is like a Tory gate, or maybe it's like a candy, but it's a, this is a Tory gate, you know? So this is a classic Japanese... Yeah, there's a tour gate. Japanese linear, yeah. so tour gates, right? I can get a tour gate here. So tour gate is this classic thing, right? That you see all the time in Japan. Uh, they're always outside, you know, uh, shrines or whatever, Jinja. So you find them all. You find them all over Japan, right? It's a classic thing outside the. Uh, here, this this a tour gate, you know, it's like that, right? So you you find these things all over Japan, right? Um, and usually uh, like this uh, tour gate here, right? Uh, you, you, it's the first thing you enter, right? Now you're on temple grounds, right? Then you go out there and you find a temple, that's sort of shrine, right? Shrine is called Jinja. Um, so usually they are accompanying uh, Jinja then, right? But the yeah, tour gates are usually what you see in so many animes, just more like you know, when you walk, walk past like a temple or a, something similar to that, right? Um, it's more kind of sanctuary or whatever. No, I had to read his Japanese now, sorry. Yeah, this guy was speaking another language, but it was subbed with Japanese. It's hard to read it. But he speaks like Russian, so. Actually, I do speak some, though, so a little bit. Okay. Looks like uh, Prague or something. Sorry, I missed that when he was for me. Yeah, let's say he was like in Prague or something, right? But he's actually from Russia or something? Huh. Is this a neighbor? I think so. This is a weird neighbor. Yeah, that, that's a bureau, yeah. <laughs> this anime is it's a weird anime. It's this anime is like some kind of weird like I mean this thing happens in reality, don't get me wrong, but Yeah, it's just this weird thing where it's like she walks me home and this thing's happening and it's like yeah yeah whatever. It's like this anime is weird in that sense, really weird in that sense. It really is like this very strange like she's like oh I got the like whatever. <laughs> yeah, oh some foreigner. Oh yeah, now this guy is like, <laughs> if he uses my beer, I will get revenge <laughs> or something. <laughs> and he's always like moving around inside there. Like, what is this, dude? But is this like his revenge plan or something? Which is really weird, man. This guy is so strange. He's like, ah, I'm getting back at her. <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah, that that's one way to do it. Yeah, it's like, there's one way to do it. My god, every character is, this has almost the weirdest character I've seen in anime. But they're not weird, you know, as in, how to say it, yeah, like super over the top isekai, everyone's running around screaming or something weird, or, you know, like weird powers or whatever. These, these are all weird and it's like, yeah, like, oh, I got this, like, <laughs> they're all weird in their own way. Yeah, it's like, they're, no, they're weird in like, what is this guy? Like, he works as like an accountant or something. Yeah, it's like the weirdest people living in Japan is being like, oh yeah, I'm an accountant and I'm into this thing or something. It's very strange, but it's not like super out there. No, but honestly, I think a great strength of this anime is that the characters doesn't feel 
too outworldly, you know what I mean? Like, he's obviously a, a, a very strange person, but it actually feels like a realistically strange person, right? He's not, like, weird, like I said, he's not Easter Kai weird, he's not, like, a fantasy anime weird, right? Um, he's not, like, over-the-top weird either. Yeah, he's, he's more like some, like, weird guy that wears like, some kind of firm or something, that's just, like, some weird personality. So he's actually more realistic, right? Because he's, like, weird. He's really weird, but he's just at that level of, like, yeah, he's not, like, you know... He's trying, yeah, like this guy is like, he's supposed to be like a normal person with, you know, some strange behavior. So it's kind of funnier, I feel. That's why I feel it's very, very funny because it's like, well, this is actually realistic. <laughs> There's some guy, yeah, like, where's his other neighbor doing here? <laughs> some guy, some, you see what I mean? And then this guy, like, staring through the window. It's like, what? Well, yeah, what was that thing? It's like, it's what I mean. Again. But this is like, the anime is coming to gold, but it's like what I mean, because these people, like, these people exist, you know, yeah, this is like, that's what I mean, I, I saw that I don't know watch. but basically, right, the characters are basically realistic, yeah, they're like really, really realistic, actually, but again, on the same time, they are like the very, very low percentage, right, of like, cray, cray people, but in reality, you will have, you know, like maybe 1%, Half percent or whatever, right? like people, all oh, that neighbor guy, yeah, like they do exist, right? In reality, there is like a very low percentage of the total population, right? You know, so I especially had some co workers back in my life. I had one co worker, so uh, he would, he would, he's a mid to main, he would lie with everything. I had one co worker, like an obsess obsessive liar co worker, uh, like he reminds me of the main character, yeah, he, was, he would lie with everything all the time, and everything was always incredibly over the top in his life, right? He was always this very, very weird person. So they do exist, right? You know, you, have, you always have one or two co workers or something like that, right? You know, that's why I like Tunigawa, too, you know, Tunigawa middle manager, because that kind of plays with that. Like, he's like has a normal, you know, he's like, he's a, he's a manager, right? With 30 employees. Of course, at least a few of them are gonna be crazy, you know what I mean? He has 30 employees, so it's like three or four of them are gonna be weirdos, right? Like the guy that always bars. Uh, but that's why I like that, I mean, right? It actually, don't, yeah, it reminds me a lot of, um, it reminds me a lot of. Uh, Tunugawa middle manager, right? So, so Tunugawa middle manager, he's just running a company, right? He's at second in command, right? Whatever. And he's a bunch of, you know, employees, right? And of course, most employees are just normal, functional people, right? But some of them are, are, are strange, right? Right? And I think the fun thing is, I, I, I really, really love Tunugawa middle manager, right? Because every yoke is like a binder, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so three. He, uh, they can have a barbecue, you know. He's like, he's like, you know, has a company barbecue. And then it's like he buys the different chips or whatever, right? And then he forgot to buy this one thing. And then this guy is getting all, oh, where's my favorite uh, barbecue chip, you know, whatever. Yeah. Where's my favorite this thing? He's like, oh, yeah, okay, fine, go buy it. Yeah. You know, like that. Is, that's how it is, dude. That's how it is. Yeah, like you, you have this really nice barbecue, and like, oh, a shorter course break, and like fifty, you know, fifty-five of your. If your 60 employees are all happy, right? Because those five people that have this really weird, like, no, oh, you didn't buy my favorite chip, so I'm gonna be grumpy now for three weeks or something. Yeah, it's always like that, right? And that's what I feel is that, man. Okay, now the the American ninja is back. Or maybe he's not American then. That's kind of weird. So what? He's like, <laughs> now I had a hot dog. My god, that is so weird. What? So he's like, okay, he cut off his hot dog or something. That was happening. <laughs> no. So the old man is actually a hidden badass or something. <laughs> he claps on the wall or something. So that would be so strange. Yeah, this like old man is like, he, he, he's like a Spider-Man or something. But actually, he looks like some random old man, but he's actually like Spider-Man. He's like, you're, too, you're 50 years too early for me, boy. <laughs> what is this thing? He just like jumps. He just like a summer something. So the cloud being on the ceiling or something. What? Yeah, this old man is actually a uh, Spider-Man. Like, what? Man, this one is so weird. He's like, I see. <laughs> you're clearly using this technique or something. What? Yes, no, the old man is gonna, I don't know. He's just like an around, uh, he's obviously like a badass old man then, but, oh yeah, he got some cool dance tricks or something. Yeah, he got some amazing martial arts. Yeah, so, the old man's like 10th black belt uh, Taiyutsu master. He's like rock lee him. I love it, he flips up again to doing it. Yeah, like he uses his arm to just make himself, uh, you know, stand again. 
<laughs> he looks like so, he looks like some random old boy. <laughs> he looks like some random. <laughs> he laughs on it. Oh my god, this is so silly. And he like he laughs on it. He does like this really weird thing, and he's just like, "Oh, what in the shit now?" Oh my god, you know this is typical Gandhians. Yeah, he's using cheating. He's cheating. Cheat code, man. Well, okay, the old man has a penis. is fine though. <laughs> this is. Well, maybe he has. Maybe it's Batmaning it. <laughs> that's not all the, that's not all the cool summer stuff on the wall or something. Like yeah, this this anime is this anime is gold. Like yeah, I don't know. That was like maybe the whole thing is just like a suit or something. Because it seems weird. Yeah, it didn't affect him either. And now he just jumps on some bat gun or something. <laughs> but yeah, the, I, I just love it. It's like this, this random guy. See. I told you guys, yeah, he has some weird suit on him. He looks like some random old man, but it's actually weird, he's some kind of super suit or something. He looks like some weird, he looks like some, he looks like an old, fragile old man, but it's actually weird, some kind of Kevlar or something. He's actually Batman or something. He's actually, he's, he's just Batman in disguise or something. Everyone is Batman in this anime, okay? That's what anime is hilarious, yeah, it's like every person is actually Batman, yeah. This like 85 year old man was actually Batman in disguise. Everyone is Batman. He was just like, ah, I'm actually wearing a Kevlar suit or something. But that's what I said, bro, because he seemed to be really unaffected by it. He was like, no, he had, he had some Kevlar stealth uniform or something. Yeah, he was, I think it reminds me of, um, I was spoiled too much, but it reminds me of Treble in One Piece. It's like, well, actually, I mean, you know, I'm just moving my body or something. Yeah, it's like, and now he's like, why do you wear that thing? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's the only weird thing because he's interested in his neighbors. She go, she go, man, she go. With my neighbors, I did have to try it. I thought this happened so weird. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The old man was just hilarious. Yeah, it's just, but it was so beautiful too. He did summon something the first time on the wall. He jumped on him. And then he used his hand to, like, you know, rotate or something to go faster. It was like, why is this thing? But yeah, I'm also, I mean, I called. I'm not surprised that he actually was wearing some kind of. Armor underneath his, uh, yeah, his uh, what's called his sweatshirt or whatever. Yeah, he had like Kevlar uniform under it. Yeah, it was he was actually battling along, something like that. But actually, I guess he was wearing like a some kind of stealth uniform or something. So he was hiding who actually was wearing. Yeah, because I think he was also protecting his arms or whatever. So I guess he was wearing like a. He's wearing a suit that makes it look like he's not wearing a suit. <laughs> Something like that, I guess. I mean, obviously, it's just anime technology, but, you know, I guess the point was that he was actually wearing a suit here, right? That made it look like he was not wearing anything with arms. I suppose so. But there's another mission. Yeah, there's another mission here. From the... Oh, God. I'm a little exhausted over everything happened before this. Yeah, he can do Oh. I'm probably gonna be retired today after this. Okay, so we're back to the gal again. Yeah, the, the gal. I would say I prefer it to have finished this gal thing. Oh yeah, it's also weird. It's a kind of weird stealth uniform. Yeah, it's weird. It's a kind of. But his eyes are still there though. It's, it's not the best stealth uniform though. No, you can still see him though. It's just hard to see him. Yeah, she's weird. It's like. I don't know, she got like a, a kabuki mask on her, right? <laughs> they're laughing at her, they're hilarious. She got this kabuki mask, he's like, ah, it's the mask, this is what, I, this is what I'm saying, that Yeah, and he's like, yeah, took off the mask on her. That's the interesting strategy, you know, just like... But yeah, but she's wearing a thing like a kabuki mask. Not that very common, but she's clearly some kind of Japanese... Her team, he, her team is like Japanese culture, right? She's so got a mixture of a gyro and um, and like a you know a Japanese theater performer or something like that. So okay, that's our. I guess it's better at park. I guess it was earlier. With the old man was doing yeah, there is, there is yeah, the, the Batman, the old man Batman, yeah, the Batman old man. <laughs> But that's what has his hands. I get it. Now he's one of those oxygen tanks. Yeah, he's so old and fragile. Now I get it. Now I get it. My God, that is so crazy. Now I get it. He's an old man with that oxygen tank. Yeah, he's so old and fragile. He's, he's, you know, he's an oxygen tank. So he can, you know, yeah. 
Let's see, can I get Ox again, right? Because uh, he's old and weak. <laughs> but it's obviously, it's a, it's obviously a ruse. <laughs> yeah, it's like he was around in an oxygen tank so he can, you know, breed. That's what he has. Yeah, it's one of those things, right? But he's actually Batman, so he's obviously he's not, he's just not a ruse, right? Completely ruse. This is part of his disguise, right? To have that, like, yeah, <laughs> breathing. He got a breathing mask with him. That's what he has. So he can, like, get some oxygen faster, right? And actually finds the Guardian in the shrines earlier. <laughs> he's like, you're also a ninja. Yeah, he's like, you're a ninja too, aren't you? He's like, everyone is a ninja. Yes. This person is also a ninja, definitely. <laughs> He's hiding under the temple now. Like, what is this thing? She's like, yeah, a guardian, a guardian in the temple. <laughs> He's like depressed now. It's like I couldn't even defeat an old man. <laughs> no. He still a pound, right, to like find the the, the people. Yeah, and it's like, man, this old man was so powerful. I couldn't even. Uh, he was doing these cart flips, and yeah, he was doing like uh, these badass flips, flippity flops all over the place. It was like watching, you know, Yoda in Star Wars 2. Yeah, I was doing the flippity flops all over the place. I'm surprised that's poison or something. I'm surprised that she's poisoning or something. This anime, I, I, think, she, I think he correctly is assuming everyone is a ninja. He's like, wait a minute, yeah, this, this is probably poison, right? This is a weird thing. <laughs> that is so weird. Uh, I laugh like, oh my god, the old man, the old man doing cartwheels was so hilarious. Um, this anime is just, I, it's a comedy gold. Yeah, this is really strange. She also might be in disguise, who knows? She also might be Batman, yeah, everyone is Batman. Assume that everyone is Batman's anime. He's using it now on this, but I think it's like a, it looks like a breathing mask. I don't think you have, if, like, if you need extra, if you have proper breathing, right? You take it up, you know, you're like, I need some oxygen. Is it your pies? Is that what it is? But it really looked like it was a breathing tank earlier. I don't know what this guy, yeah, I don't know what this guy does. It's obviously, it's obviously a fake thing, though. Obviously, he's wearing a Kevlar under it, though. I mean, it's obviously just like he's like he's like a weird rooster again, anyway. But it's just for, it's for like oppies, really. Is that what it is? Because the set, version, I don't know. Like it feels like, it feels like it looks like kind of like a lot of stuff. Hmm. But regardless, I mean, obviously it's just like a weird thing he has with him, so he can look older and weaker or something. But he's actually a badass. Uh, <laughs> he the <did> badass. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. That was like yeah. That's right. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just a weirdo. It's like everyone else's anime. <laughs> like the guy who's sitting underneath in the. Oh my god, that's him. Oh, the Netherite guy. Oh my god, this anime is so weird. It is such a strange show. Oh my god. Oh, this show is crazy, guys. It is crazy. What? What? Suddenly it's like a tornado. Wait, can someone control the weather now or something? Okay, maybe the old man can like control the weather or something. He's like a badass. So he... Yeah, okay, so he can fly or something. <laughs> what is this character? Yeah, he's, he's like an old ninja master. He can control the weather or something. We can teleport. The powers are very hard to tell the anime. Yeah, he can do anything he wants, basically. What? It's like, yeah, that's right, kid. I'm a real ninja. And then he's like, teleports out or something. I, I don't know. It's like, what? The old man scene was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> man, the old man was like, flipping and flopping around. That was just hilarious. And that was just so silly, too. And he was just like, yeah, again, yeah. he got this weird thing with him for breathing or whatever. You know, this like, medical aid thing. That just makes him look weak, but actually he's a lie or something, right? <laughs> and then they, 
Like the Guardian is like, are you a Ninja too? <laughs> He's assuming everyone's a Ninja, right? Uh, but yeah, I think that was really funny. But it's two things, right? That makes it really funny. We should break it down a little bit. I talked about earlier as well, right? But I think that one massive part of the war is that that for example, like I said, right? This is this is a, it's, all, it's all video by itself by far. Actually, this like, I had a lot of different co-workers in my life, right? But this one co-worker. It always comes to mind, right? And I guess you can see that as a good or a bad thing. Uh, obviously a bad thing then, right? Because he was just really, really... He was born those weird. He was an anime character. No, but he was like... He was, he was an obsessive liar, right? He did so many weird stuff. It was maybe two years. And he could fit in this anime, right? Like, he's, he's, he's an actual real person. So what he's doing is really strange or crazy or whatever. But it's not like... Like I said, it's, it's not like, you know, tropey crazy... Like, you know, a, a more anime where, you know, the girl is like super sundry or whatever, right? Or this or yonder or whatever, yeah. Like, that's not very realistic, right, you know? To some, obviously, those dead as you know, like an extreme version of a real person, right, right? Uh, but this anime is that it feels like everyone is kind of like very, very on the edge, right? Of what actually people can be. But it can be like that. And that, honestly, I think is re less common in animes that you have these characters that aren't, like I said, they aren't dead right? They aren't like this extremity. But they are very, very extreme, but still in like the, the what actually is an you know, interval of normality, right? Like actually possible to beat people, but they're they very much out there. This like one one percent people are like this kind of people, right? Uh, but 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 what I mean though, I think the important thing to understand here is that the Dere, right? For example, the Sundere, the Sundere is an ex uh, like an extremity, right? Of a not too uncommon personality type. So let's say that like 10% of people are Sundares, but of course they are not as much Sundares, I mean, but they are like Sundare, you know, non-anime Sundares, right? So the other Dares on cliche and tropes or whatever, right? They are usually used like an extreme version of an actual common behavior. I mean, Sundares are pretty common, right? That's actually it's a quite a common personality people have, right? They are passive aggressive, whatever, so usually, yeah. So different versions of Sundares, right, are actually quite common in reality, but again, they aren't, you know, like the anime extremity, right, but they're kind of, you know, a little bit, right, and some girls actually are, right, but, you know, a little, little less than. But this anime is that has people that actually do exist, but it's like one or less than one percent of these, like, really, really unique personalities, right, that you might meet in your, in your life, and like I said, it's kind of funny because I really like Tony Gawa, right? And you know, I must love Tony Gawa. Like, if you have, you know, 30, 40, 50, even uh, 50, 100 employees, right? if you have, like, a... If you're working at a big company, right? So you have, a, you know, like, at least 100 co-workers right, around that. But usually, it's, it's, it's enough with, like, 30, 40 people. But if you have, like, 50 to 100 people, somewhere there, at least uh, 100 people, uh, then you always have, you know, one of those two, like, really... That guy's really special, you know? <laughs> he said, that guy's really special. Yeah, he's something... It's something off, you know, yeah, it's something off, right? And this anime feels like it's a lot of those people, like, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's something off with him. <laughs> this is this is this anime. But I think, honestly, it's very different this anime, because, yeah, no no one is, like, tropey or cliche, but they're all, like, really extreme personalities, but actual real personalities, to some extent, right? Uh, and like I said, it also reminds me of Tonegawa and similar animes of that, where... You know, it's more played for like this, like yeah, company, like oh yeah, this kind of anime. Is, I guess like huh, I can say something in. I guess an anime. I said an anime. I really love. Oh, sorry, a TV show. I mean, an anime, a TV show I really love, right? Is uh, Silicon Valley. It's one of my favorite TV shows. Obviously, I worked, you know, with a lot of IT companies over the years, so I can absolutely like Silicon Valley is a documentary. <laughs> it's, it's not a. Yeah, it's a reality show. It's a documentary. It's, it's not a TV show. It's a documentary, but it. Yeah, so you can have a good example of what I feel, you know, when I watch Tony Gava and so on too. It's like, yeah, I mean, those people do actually exist. Because, again, it's like, that. yeah, you always have that, you, you always encounter a boss in your life, right? And and, and, and to be fair, I, I've never been a big fan of the whole, you know, empty work or whatever. I think that, yes, of course, you might have a boss or two, which are bad. But, you know, most of my managers' bosses have been pretty good, actually, I would say. I think the problem probably is more that... When it comes to work, in this case, then, is that, yes, of course, but you, of course, when, when you have that bad boss, though, they're really bad, usually. I think that's probably more how in reality. I don't think, I actually think that the, the frequency of good or bad boss, I think good or vastly higher majority, maybe like 7 to 30, maybe, 8 to 20, something in between that. But sure, like one in five men, I guess you have, is going to be terrible. They, they are really terrible, like they're incredibly terrible. That, that, then they do leave a big effect, though. So, I mean, obviously, I get it. 
if you have one really terrible manager, then your, your job is annoying, right? And like I said, it isn't that low, like maybe one out of five, right? So, of course, if you work for a few years, you're going to have a bad manager, right? Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, but this kind of this, this anime is like, you know, it's like that man, it's like, yeah, the, his neighbor is like that really bad accounting manager. You're like, oh, this guy, you know, yeah. That's kind of how he feels, right? You know, like the neighbor is definitely one of those like super annoying middle management guys. <laughs> exactly. But it's really fun, at least for me. I mean, like I said, I like the show though, like Silicon Valley too. Yeah, I really love Silicon Valley. Uh, it's, it is so on the, on the money though, seriously. I can make a video about Notre Dame, but yeah, genuinely. Silicon Valley feels like I've been there exactly. It feels like I've seen every person out. I mean, it, it is straight up that the people that have been in Silicon Valley in California. I'll be like, yeah, this is exactly how it is, man. Every person in the, the TV show is like based on real people, straight up. And they barely have even, they aren't even like overly, you know, calculized. They're, they're like exactly like that in reality. <laughs> yeah, there's not like any, over, there's a little bit over exactly, but very little because you don't need to, right? You, you don't need to. It's like I saw this actor one talking about it. I see it in the end of the video, guys, but it's kind of funny. I saw an actor seeing this thing, uh, talking about Silicon Valley and seeing the shows, and he was like, well, you know, first we made it more realistic, right? You know, we made it actually like in reality with the people's personalities and how they acted and whatever happened at the company, whatever, right? We did it realistic, right? But when you did that, test groups actually disliked it, right? People that were looking at, you know, the, the pilot, whatever, before the ad were like, this is unrealistic, yeah? people are too much, you know? These people are too unrealistic, yeah? <laughs> so we had to tone it down, <laughs> we had to tone it down. We had to make the people. We had to make the characters more, you know, less crazy because people thought they were, you know, unrealistic. It's like, yeah, they're too much out there. It's like nobody, I all like this, yeah. So they had to actually tune it down a bit. And also, that's my experience too, yeah, because uh, Silicon Valley and similar shows, I'm like, yeah, I've seen every personality or ever those, I've seen basically the exact same thing, right, in my life too, but worse <laughs> in all of the categories. So I'm just like, yeah, they, they actually feel less than in reality, so. I buy that. He's like, we have to like, we have to make the character be less extreme because people didn't like it. So it's season two and some part actually less extreme because we got some critique and oh, this character is too much or whatever, too he's too angry or too dumb or whatever. They have to make it less than than he was like, but he actually is based on a real person <laughs> and actually do this stuff, you know. But like, no, this is way worse. Um, but honestly, for example, you know, Big Bang Theory, so I, I like Big Bang Theory too, but Big Bang Theory also a good example of that. Like some of the traits they have. The nerds, right? They are usually much more worse in reality, right? Yeah. The nerds are actually quite like, <laughs> they're actually more social <laughs> skilled than the people are in reality. <laughs> in reality, it's way worse, honestly. <laughs> Most of the time. I'm generalizing, of course, but, but honestly. But anyway, what is it about the anime? I mean, I, I like the anime a lot. I mean, the old man thing, that just made me crack up after 10 minutes, right? It was really funny. And like I said, all this weird interaction. But it's a very strange anime, right? Because the half the episode is what I'm trying to explain, right? This kind of like Silicon Valley, you know, weird company jokes. There's like accountant. He's like the, you know, the neighbor with her work or whatever. Yeah, like it's like, a, you know, work jokes kind of thing, right? And then the, like, you know, grown up work jokes or something, <laughs> something like that. And the other half is like weird, weird anime action scenes with like an old man doing cartwheels. It's like, it's, it's like a really weird anime. It's like, too completely, yeah, but that's why I like it, but it's too, it's a very, like, too completely deep setting, right? One of them is, like, super serious, in a sense, right? I mean, it's crazy, but it's serious, because it's based on, like, you know, these are typical work uh, situations, right? Yeah, it's, like, based on, like, you know, realistic, like, issues you have with your company, with your middle manager, right? And the other is, like, flipping the flop ninja. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, very, 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 very weird mix, man. But I like it, guys. Anyway, so you guys have a great day.